Hey Connie. Okay, it's Stu. So I took your electric bill and entered each and every month from September. Uh, so I started with October, November, December, January is when it gets really high for you out there. December and January uh, is your high usage, and then uh, January and then February is cold. Then March a little better. Uh, April went down, and then May it was fine. June, July, August, September. So that's what's here, and. Um, you know, whenever we see stuff like this, you got a serious issue probably with your HVAC unit. Um, and if you don't do anything, assuming you do nothing today, and this is not a proper presentation, I just, I know you're busy, so I want to give this to you before we got off topic too far. If you do nothing, um, the cost of electricity is going up at mm, three to five, three to six percent. Um, this article actually shows that it's 33% over the last five, for Ohio, it's gone up 33% over the last five years. So that's more like six, 33 divided by five. So it's actually going up 6.6%, .6%, but I'm just almost cutting that down just to be, um, super conservative for you. So I'm only using four and a half percent. So your electric bill now, um, when it the bill you gave me had fifteen hundred sixty nine kilowatts used, that's your um, in the um, the actual bill was one hundred and eighty nine, with the lowest of the year, right? But your average bill, if we add this up, divide by twelve, is three hundred thirty one a month, including those big monster months you have when it's cold outside. So you're paying about twelve cents a kilowatt. And if we gave you 70 panels, each panel kicking off 330 kilowatts, and out of the, all the ones we have, those are the biggest ones to get more bang for your buck on your back field because this ain't going to fit on your roof, that 70 times 330 would kick off 23,000 kilowatts out of the 32 that you currently use. And that would be um, that would offset what you're pulling from AEP. We provide 70% of that from your solar. We call that an offset. And then you still have a little bit of a power payment to them at nighttime when it's dark. You have to pull uh, some solar from the, or some power from them. But um, the, the loan would be about sixty-three thousand at six percent. You're paying on average three thirty-one a month. So I'm going to have you pay a little bit less than that on average, except for now you're going to have ownership, and um, we'll get you a thirty percent tax credit if you can do it this year of eighteen thousand back based on tax taxes you've paid in. Uh, or you can take that over the next five years. So at the end of the day, you'll have 44000 left to pay this power system that you own now instead of renting for the rest of your life. You're already paying an average of 331 We're going to make that less and save you about 15 bucks a month. And uh, you'll pay this solid payment for about, and you could just pay your power payment here, just your monthly payment is red for the electric. Or we could break it up and have it be part to the loan payment for solar and part a little bit of power bill. So having a little bit of power bill here and then having a solar payment here adds up to a monthly payment of for here it's the first month 396 versus 390 or 331. So it's a little bit higher for a couple years until you hit the black and in year eight you start getting into savings. So you, as your electric bill goes up from 331 a month on average to 346, it's going up at 4.5%, right? 331, 346, 361, 377 keeps going up and it doubles mm, roughly let's see the rule of 72 if we take 70 72 and divide it by 0 0.045 your bill will double every let's see 72 divided by 0.045. Oh, I think we have to do 72 divided by 4.5. Sorry. So your bill is going to double every 16 years. So 331 will be 662 in what was it? 16 years. So if we just go down here to uh, 16, it should be 660. There you go. It's pretty much right in there. So. We don't want your bill to, because if you've got a monthly bill, on average it's going to be in 25 years $1,000 that's going to really stink. We can make that, or if we plan now, we can make that 274 okay? Because you'll have, at a certain point, you pay off your solar loan, 
and as everything is going up here we see that um, right here your your bill of 331 is lower five years out your bill would have been up to 394 versus solar at 425 goes up a little still because you have some power uh, costs that are going up but when you get out here where the black starts um, that's where it equalizes so your your bill of 450 a month uh, if you do nothing today, it'd be you know 450 a month. But here you go. We're starting to save you uh, permanent money here because the solar stays the same while all of this electric use goes up, right? So we look at 10 years. 491 a month is what you would have been paying, or less. At 15 years, it would have been a bill of 612, or still 490. And then the savings really gets bigger as 20 years goes. You had been paying 763 a month every month versus 535 and at the 25th year um, you would have been paying 951 dollars every month for electricity and now this loan is paid off you pay zero for the solar portion and you're only paying that little bit of a trickle of uh, energy from AEP so you're only paying 274 a month versus 950 you save fifty thousand dollars so if you do what you're doing now you'll pay about 176 thousand this way you only pay 50 and that's the total expenditure. So over the next 25 years, the cost of doing nothing is 176000 If we get you a system today, uh, the net cost after you get your tax money back is $44,000. Tax credit of 18 comes off of it, so 44 is left. So um, the net system is 44. The offset of the electric bill you still have to pay is 52000 That's from here over those 25 years. So looking at both of those together, if we add both of those up, it's $97,000 compared to doing nothing. 176,000 to just keep doing what you're doing versus our scenario over here, you'd only pay 97 out. So you'll save $79,000. But you get home equity of $43,000. So $79,000 of net savings plus the home equity, all those payments that you pay, on this mostly go back into your home equity so with with the seventy nine thousand that you save plus the home equity of all those payments in red that are going to the electric company now they're going into your house your equity so seventy nine and forty three is a total savings to you a value proposition of a hundred and twenty two thousand so just an electric bill saved it's fifty but with the home equity and the savings hundred twenty two so that's a big deal. Um, that's kind of why you should probably do this. Um, it's not a question if you can pay a $331 monthly bill. You're already doing it. You've already been doing it for your whole life. In the winter, it gets horrible. So this would lock in your payment, and it'll be a steady uh, $317 every month instead of getting those $600 bills you told me about. All right, so that's it in a nutshell. Take a look at that, and then... The company, let's see, that I have doing this here is solar, solar, solar. I use solar, power, and light. So these guys have done fields like this, and you'd probably need 100 of these panels. So we'd probably need, you know, um, 50 and uh, two rows of 50, or you can do a couple tens. Um, let's see which one. Yeah, <laughs> but you know that's for a little house you can do it on the roof but you don't have enough roof space so it looks like you actually needed um, for your usage unless you can get this HVAC unit to um, go down or whatever is causing that usage you'd need 70 panels that are high power the 330 so basically this is double what you'd get from power home and solar where I used to work um, if you wanted 70 panels, it would cost 120000 basically. These guys are half price, so it's totally awesome. Okay, that's it in a nutshell. Take a look. Um, let me know your thoughts.